Oh, sure. Get online, the first thing I do is burp in the microphone. Okay, Periscope. Well, I keep calling it Periscope. Periscope itself is uh, shut down. What I should be saying is Twitter is online. YouTube is online, still waiting on Twitch and Picarto, but it's probable that just like last week, Picarto will never connect. Once again, these are problems that are completely out of my jurisdiction. Uh, Twitch is on, that's good. Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. And as you all remember from last week, I will not attempt to live on Facebook ever again because it is pissing me off royally. So we gotta wait a little bit. Mm, I smell so fresh, you guys. I've went ahead. I actually left the house uh, yesterday. Yes, yesterday because I was worried of missing my panel. I did not miss my panel, thankfully. And I had to go to the drugstore to get some uh, my prescription. And I needed some shampoo, and then I decided to go for an Old Spice underarm deodorant. It's called Fresh, because I didn't really have the time to stop and sniff. It's not really like I'm allowed to sniff anything anymore at the moment because of the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. <coughs> but now I smell like angry laundry, and it's really nice. Oh, there's somebody on Twitch. There's somebody on YouTube. I should uh, start the chat at least. Music is going to start real soon. Picarto is still not wanting to connect. Okay, I can literally see my frames per second here switching from 60 to 5. What's up with that? I woke up late, so I had a late breakfast, so I didn't have lunch yet, but I'm still having some Pepsi. This live stream is not sponsored by Pepsi. But it should, because I drink so much of it. I am officially 75% syrup. So it would be lovely if I could get sponsored by them. Speaking Oh, Hello, Paul. It's You can't see it on the screen, but Paul is saying, Hi Sharon, hope you are well. I am very well. Somebody anonymously donated me a year-long Kofi Gold account. No idea who that could be. <laughs> the mystery is complete. Sneaky, sneaky ninja. Oh, wait. My Firefox is still on my drawing screen and nobody needs to see the back door to my Kofi page. <laughs> now I can put it here. Now I gotta pose the rules and start the music and start the complaining. Though seriously, I'm actually in a very good mood today. My back is tweaked, but my I know why my back is tweaked. So, this time it's not from me having bad posture. I literally just got up. Got, got up. I'm trying to learn Spanish. I can't even speak English. So, uh, no, you're not gonna, you're not gonna participate. There we go. Pretzel was being a little bitch. So yeah, my back being tweaked right now has nothing to do with my posture for a change. It's a nail stitch issue that I can't do anything about until it's over. Uh, uh, yeah.
Got some sales on my coffee shop. We also don't know who did that. <laughs> so I'm happy that's a bit more bills paid this month. Might be able to get myself a cheap, cheap filter mask off of the... Uh, AliExpress because I recently posted a picture of the mask I'm using right now when I'm doing airbrushing thankfully I only do like a little bit of airbrushing and it's again a miracle I'm thinking of wearing a mask because usually I don't and then I end up sneezing uh, purple for whoops a couple days That's never pleasant. So I know what I know what I'm doing after my stream. I got a lot of stuff to pack. Probably going to be working on some commissions that's going to one of the person I need to pack stuff for so probably gonna be doing that too so that I can be ready for Friday because I decided to ship on Fridays it's going to be easier due to the current situation in <laughs> nudge nudge Forgetting the name of the font I've been using for five years for this comic. <laughs> there we go. Of course, as usual, you guys tell me how the image is going. It's looking like it's going good. It's a little slow and eventually it'll freeze completely on my part. But as long as it's not pixelating, I consider that progress. Oh, give me a hot second here. My uh, I have a TENS machine right now going on and it just shut down, so I'm going to start it over. So I can function. Uh, you know you're an adult when you get a TENS machine for Christmas and you're like, yay! <laughs> so yeah, I had a panel for CKCon. Yesterday online panel with uh, Team Warwick was super fun. Gave me an excuse to poof my hair because usually I don't bother styling it. Because I don't see the point of having a face cam while I work because I'm trying to attract people to my stream and not scare them away.
but I actually bothered to put that little powder I used to not look shiny on camera and then make my hair all nice and poofy. So that was pleasant. My dad and his eyebrows on accent circumflexe. <laughs> Paul posted a little lion head for Oric because yeah we talked about Oric I'll admit I was worried about something one thing on the panel and that was to be asked what, what, what's it like to be a woman in comics and honestly if I have to answer that question one more time I am going to barf on stage You all frickin' know what's it like to be a woman in comics. I'm just asking that question to pad time. Like when an interviewer asked the big existential questions to male actors and then they turned to the female actor. What kind of diet did you did you have to go through to fit into a cat suit? So here's a petition to retire what's it like to be a woman in comics. You all know, it sucks! But thankfully, no, I was not asked that question. That's the one thing I like about digital. It's super easy to edit when you change your mind or when you draw something too small. Just gonna save real quick and check 
what I did for the last panel here. Another thing, when I talk about comics, I want to talk about comics, not the human condition. And it's true that you already know what it's like to be a woman in comics. Okay, I'm gender fluid, but I understand getting the question because I mostly present as female, but... You know it sucks, so make it stop sucking. Then turn around, oh, we don't know what's going on. You know exactly what's going on. Shut up. And be proactive. Do something about it. My dad's tiny, tiny giggle because he is such a quiet man. I don't know if you guys can actually read the ticker. Because I have some lovely news. We are only two subscribers away on the Bootleg Cookie on Tapas to get a new Irritated Replayer. Irritated Replayer is a subscription based comic. Every time there is 10 new subscribers on Tapas, you get a bonus Irritated Replayer comic. Irritated Replayer is basically the same thing as Bootleg Cookie, except in the gaming world. So 
Yeah, we are now at 298 subscribers. drawing myself a little skinnier these days because well I am I'm still incredibly heavy but I am somehow skinny I am breaking the laws of physics I don't know how I'm doing it I simply consider myself a blob And I just saw we are now only one subscriber away from <laughs> the new irritated replayer. I wish I could have notifications of new subscribers to Tapas and Webtoon on the, on the stream. Just as a nice extra surprise, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Paul. called the Thompsons in English. They're the frickin' Dupons. And that's another thing. Completely unrelated, but someone related to the Dupont thing. Like, we know for a fact that they're not brothers. It's a little harder to say with Thompson and Thompson. Because you can easily miss that one of the Thompsons has a P in his name and the other one doesn't. It's easier with the Dupons because there's Dupont 
that ends with a T and DuPont that ends with a D. And they're both pronounced the same, DuPont, DuPont. But it's easier to tell which is which because DuPont T has the corners of his mustache curling up like a T. DuPont D, his mustache, mustache is shaped like a D. And how is it related to what I was just saying? It is video game, ba video game based. Nobody freaking argues that DuPont and DuPont are not related, even if they are identical, but they will still refer to each other as brothers. Especially in the Belle Vision uh, cartoons. They even have wildly different voices, and usually, if I'm not mistaken, it's Dupont D that mispronounces what Dupont T says when he repeats it. And how is it related to video games? I've had people argue with me that uh, Wario and Waluigi are not brothers, even if they refer to each other as brothers in uh, the latest Mario Comics continued adventure, Driven Miss Daisy. We know they're not brothers. They know they're not brothers. But they will refer to each other as brother. Just because. Oh my god, I got something in my... Hang on. It's really bothering me. It's really itchy. Okay, I think I... I think I got it. So yeah, a certain ninja donated an anonymous one year of coffee gold. First thing I, I did was turn my coffee completely pink and change give me a coffee to buy me a coffee to buy me a tea because I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I am capable of drinking coffee. It just puts me to sleep. So it is of no use to me. I even put a little emoji next to T because I could. I also prepared some uh, text for when I open commissions on uh, co coffee, but I did not actually open commissions yet because I'm busy. There's a set of cards I need to get done for Jeff. That I would like to send at the same time as this print. And I'm going to do that this week since I've decided to do 
all my shipping on Fridays. Video game front, I'm almost done with Breath of Fire 2. I'm just grinding levels at this point, and it's slow. As the fact that I'm following suggests that I'm around level 40, 45. By the time I got to that part, most of my party was at level 35, so yeah. Taking some time. I might post some of the stuff that happened. It's mostly uh, a lot of typos in Breath of Fire 2. So if I do a Breath of Fire 2 Irritate the Replayer, it's probably just going to be commenting on typos. Have another sip so I can burp more in your eardrums. The Carto is still being a stubborn little bee. Just got a Pika Pika! Okay, the code for uh, to name who just gave me a, a T is not working well. <laughs> but that's on Kofi's end, not mine. <laughs> but thank you for the T, though, really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on my Kofi, see who, who just gave me that. <laughs> It was Paul, thank you for the tea, Paul. <laughs> At least now we know most of the Kofi. <laughs> Button, donation button works.
know if you know, but all a week this week. <laughs> yes, it is, Paul. I agree. <laughs> all week this week, I've been getting notification from Facebook that they're muting old videos. That they were okay with before, but they're not okay with now. And... The email I sent Toei was not replied to. The email I sent to TeePublic was not replied to. So apparently I'm the only non-coward here. I still say if you're that friggin' threatened by my art, hire me, you coward. Yeah, but Shiro, you have to be more professional about these things. No! I've been professional. It's like bullying! Being sensible does not work. You gotta grab one of them and just smash their nose against your knee. Figuratively, of course. Not saying you should go out there and just punch people out of the blue, but I am saying give them a good talking to. I have a quote unquote client right now. that her s supervisor is supposed to have paid me and uh, they've not and she's like uh, any progress on our project <laughs> and I'm like fuck no I told you I wasn't going to start until I was paid, and I was not paid. I'll put you in contact with my supervisor. She said she paid it in full. And then I waited two days after that email. Then I replied, well, I don't know who she's communicating with, but it's not me because I haven't received a single message, and my invoice is still pending. And I have not received a reply to that, so we'll see what happens this week. Because I am not here to waste my time. And I am certainly not going to work on something without being paid. Because that's a surefire way to then bust my ass on something. Only to be told at the end, oh, we're not going to use it, so we're not going to pay you. No. No. Like I have said in the uh, Zoom meeting with them, when they asked me who should we be keeping in contact with about this project, should we keep in contact with the guy that 
suggested you to us. And I was like, no. You speak directly to me. I'm a full-grown adult. I can do my own business. The guy that suggested me to you, I had to hunt down for a month to get paid. And I better not hear one person tell me, well, Sh Shiro, you're not nice. No, I'm not. I don't know how often I have to say this. I am not nice. There's some stuff I just can't afford to be nice. I'm on the customer end of customer service, then yeah, I will be nice. I do not need to be intimidating there. Except that last couple of times at the Best Buy Rimuski, but anyway, that's another story. Because I sound like this and I look like this. Like this right here, that's pretty much what I actually look like, except I have a nose. Quite honestly, it's exhausting to have to be like this. I try being nice to commissioners and boy some of these people will take advantage of that. Like that genius that thought he could pay me with cyber sex. <laughs> no. And then he got all mad when I said no. It was as if his digital penis was the gift from the gods. And of course my knee-jerk rea reaction was ask if God had a uh, return counter because nope. Stranger danger. I'm gonna tell all my friends not to commission you. Good, I don't want any more of you guys here. time.
Yeah, that clients don't appreciate being called cowards. Well, maybe if they stop acting like cowards, I would stop calling them cowards. That's when I that's the way I see it. Oh yeah, Penny Steel. <sighs> That's another thing. First of all, thank you for uh, liking the Penny Steel work. Too bad it won't go any further than issue four. I'll tell you about that one off uh, stream. I mean, there's an obvious reason why I don't advertise them anymore. Let's be honest, all my work is good. Uh, like I said, Paul, I'll tell you about it uh, after the stream. Uh, woof! I have comments, but not a single one of them is polite. I know what some of you is, are thinking, but Shiro, you're already incredibly rude. And you use foul language during the stream. Yeah, well, this is emotional.
a free webinar on Clip. Uh, maybe I'll attend. I'll see that after the stream. That's something that's not spoken of often when talking about Clip Studio. Graphicsly, the uh, North American distributor for Celsius, who created the uh, Clip Studio software, uh, offers a lot of Clip Studio free webinars. Most of the time I attend. Sometimes I don't. It depends on my needs. Half the time I just zone out. And it is absolutely not the uh, the host's fault. Fault. I just do. I have ADHD. That's why. That's the only reason why I live stream bootleg cookie. It's to make sure that I actually get it done on time for Friday. Or else I'm going to procrastinate and half ass it on like Thursday night, Friday morning. basically asking my viewers to babysit me while I work <laughs> to make sure I stay focused but that's the thing when I'm working on other comics that I can't show because they're from uh, different writers and they need to be uh, shown and or printed for a certain date with no previews or spoilers I have to draw on my own, obviously. And it can take a couple of days for a single page because I will get distracted. I'm gonna look for something to read. I'm gonna shop for something real quick. I'm gonna get up and do chores. I'm gonna take a small break that ends up taking the entire afternoon. And I'm not I'm not doing these things on purpose. I'm trying to keep my uh, executive dysfunction in check, but sometimes it just does not work. always when there's a deadline I always stick to the deadline That's a happy one. Pretzel power. My Popsky, Popsky. I'm gonna have to send them an email and ask them how it's supposed to be pronounced. Popsky or Popsky? I think it's Popsky.
I don't know if you know, but my dad looks really good in dark shirts. Then again, my dad looks really good in general. 460, he looks really good. He's got all his fingers, all his teeth, all his toes. is a sign of good good health where I live because not a lot of men can have that claim to fame he technically has all his hair it's very 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 thin because well he's 60 but he's not bald For those wondering where I got my uh, my spiteness, you should see my mom parade my dad around. <laughs> like she's got that little smug thing going on. Like, yeah, yeah, that's my husband. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> she's so proud of him. Yeah, see, this little piece in this song there, that would automatically net me some muting on Facebook. We are almost done. I am rendering the text. I do question your choice in entertainment, Paul, because it's nice to watch me draw, I assume, yes, but all I do is cuss and complain. <laughs>
There we go. That looks a little better. Like, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. I'm just saying. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> to put my frames in a folder because if I don't when I do some changes it will focus on one frame and the frames that I'm not working on will turn a dark blue at least like that when I close the folder it assumes I'm working on all the frames in the uh, layers that I have prepared down here Save, gonna take one last look around. And I believe we'll call it a day. Well, except for Paul, because then I'm gonna go and tell him the story about why there's only four penny still issues. to me. Uh, before we leave, one more thing. Usually when doing word bubbles, you want to try to at least have a space equal to one letter of the font you choose between your text and the outline of the bubble. So your text doesn't look too squeezed in your speech bubbles. It has enough room to breathe. I've been having to tell that to a couple friends recently, so... And I mean, it's not like I'm taking this advice out of my ass, it's something I read off Nate Pieco's uh, Twitter when he gives advice. And honestly, when Nate gives advice, I suggest you follow it, because he knows his shit. He's a professional letterer, and uh, a lot of my good fonts, like this one, which is Back Issues, is from uh, Blambot, Nate's uh, font website. And... Uh, I don't mind buying fonts from him. I can trust that they're quality fonts. I know where my money is going. And it's worth it's worth the money, honestly. Speaking of money, now I got a little bit more money. I'm going to be able to pay another bill this month. I'm glad. And if I have some leftover money, I'll be able to get a an actual mask to work with airbrush instead of a uh, fabric face mask with the Grinch's face on it. <laughs> so that'll be nice. There we go. And as usual, with each end of Livestream Extra Special, sprinkle covered thanks to Amber B, Jeff B, Paul K. Your continued support is immensely appreciated. Maybe this month I'll be allowed to breathe. Literally, because I need an actual filter mask. <laughs> Uh, I keep forgetting what date the next Saturday is. Um, oh dear. Oh, I will not be able to do it. So not this Saturday, even if it's going to be the first Saturday of the month. Uh, so it'll be Saturday, May 8th instead of May 1st. Because I have to receive the actual colors. <laughs> and uh, they'll be sending the email out on the 1st of May. So, uh. On the May 8th, 2021, there will be, of course, the usual Colors of the Month Challenge uh, traditional art live stream at 1 p.m. Eastern time, as usual. And, of course, every Sunday that part doesn't change un unless there's an emergency 